All right, so it's time for me to review Nor9, Nor plus Nornet. That it has a lot of Norns in the title, but whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that every review. It was just for the, um, episode one. So basically, this series is about a group of teenagers, because a lot of them are around 17. They didn't reveal all their ages, only the girl. And basically, they were chosen by this organization called The World. And basically, they're selected because of their special powers or latent abilities that they have. Uh, all, a lot of them, they probably all have different abilities. It was not stated, but that's probably the case. So, the organization selects them, the world, and whoever's on the cruise ship, like that looks like a big planet, and the ship itself is called Norn. Um, they pick up the person, basically, and this is what happened this episode. We got the introduction of a girl with pink hair, and she basically was waiting for the ship and looking for it, like, where was it? Because the traveler told her when she turns 17 in the spring, um, look for that ship. Later on throughout the story, we actually got revelation that she burned an entire forest down, so I, I think that was her. And I guess that's her powers, like fire ability. And we saw Kakeru, the blonde haired guy, flirting, flirting with her the entire episode. It was like romantic music playing. I was like, this this is cool. This is chillaxing. Like, this is relaxing watching this, him showing her around and stuff. And she falling off a tree, falling to her death. And she's holding this fruit and the guy saves her and they both fall in the water and that's when she remembers her name koharu so basically koharu i think the reason she doesn't remember her name and stuff like that like she was dating uh was because this is not like amnesia maybe the trauma traumatic experience of losing her parents maybe she was the cause that her parents burned to death or something because we just saw her abilities activate without her really knowing she, um her, with she was a little kid and basically there was fire around so i could speculate that maybe her parents died in that giant forest fire looking for her or something which if that is the case that would be really devastating and maybe as a child she saw this happen but she has that memory like locked in her brain so she doesn't want to she doesn't want those memories to come back to her because she will feel really bad if that was the case. So we get a peaceful thing. We got a character named Seren, I believe, and he's just locked in his room all the time. He says, if you fall, I, I'm not going to rescue you, basically, um, which maybe he said that while she fell, well, before she fell, but when she fell, he said, I'm not going to rescue you if you fall. So I could speculate. Maybe he has like air powers, like if she falls, he could catch her through air or some, something like that, or push her or back her up, back up uh, with an air manip manipulation or something, or like he's super fast or something, like he has super speed or something. I we will pro we will most likely get all these characters' powers um, later down the line. This is just episode one, and it's just an introduction. So the piece ends when they're in the water and. Part of the ship just gets hit by, by by something, and everybody's like, oh, hell, what's going on? Not again. Somebody said not again, so this must mean that they were attacked before, so somebody's attacking them, and Kakeru tells Koha, Koharu, it was it Koharu or Ko, whatever, whatever her name is, I gotta check again, um, that is not safe there. Overall, personally, I really enjoyed this first episode for some reason. It was just so peaceful, calm, the colors, the animation was nice. Seeing those cherry blossoms, that dude, um, Kakeru, with the trees and stuff. It was just, it, it just relax. It just relaxes you while you watch it. And then it's like, oh, you thought you were going to be relaxed this whole first episode? No, nope. boom, something happens. So overall, I'll give this first episode an 8.5 out of 10. It was a really enjoyable episode for me. And I hope you enjoy this review. And peace.